Congratulations, Coase, on the uh, on the opening win here in the Christmas Classic. Um, what did you kind of expect from Idaho State coming into the game? Um, a very well disciplined team, um, a team that was really good in the rebounding area. Um, I knew that, and I just knew it's going to be a tough battle for us. Um, very well coached, and um, I was proud of the way our kids started off. I felt like our first half, when you look at it, um, we outscored them 23 to 12. So to me, we set the tone right there in the first quarter. Um, so I think that kind of put Idaho State on the on their heels with us uh, setting the tone in, in with 23 points. Yeah, I mean, there there was no lead change in the game uh, per se, kind of, you know, to match what you said there too. And, and there was a lot of uh, rebounding presence on their end, but, you know, the ladies responded well there, but you had a lot of guards that were prolific in the game today. Maya Burns, of course, we just talked to uh, Sierra and uh, Layla. How do you think they kind of found their openings there too, or was it just a matter of something in the scheme? I know, I know you can't give me the playbook, yeah. but you know what was it that kind of opened up to allow that to happen? Well, I think Sierra and, and Layla, uh, now that we have more bodies, I'm able to get them more reps together in practice. You know, I've been playing them, you know, in different groups just to have a point guard on each group. And now I have a point guard sub and Ashley coming to join us. Uh, so that's helped us in terms of those two playing together. And I thought they fed off each other. Uh, Sierra having 14 points, her career high. Uh, she's been such a defensive stopper for us, but she stepped up and hit some key shots today. Um, Layla, six for six from the free throw line and just solid. Let us in minutes play. Well, um close to leading us in minutes played. Actually, Layla did lead us in minutes played. And so, um, you know, I think that that's key. She's just been really good and solid for us. But being able to shift her to the two and put Sierra at the one, our team is really dangerous, especially quickness, you know, when you're playing those two together. So I thought we executed and was able to get some easy baskets with putting Layla at the two a little bit and playing Sierra at the one. Yeah, you mentioned the quickness. I was I was kind of noticing with Sierra in that position, you know, she and Layla kind of bringing the ball down, um, that an element was kind of controlling to make sure the tempo fast, but not too fast. Do you think they accomplished that? I think they did. I think they did. Um, like you said, fast, but not too fast. We were able to feed our bigs. We were able to get Destiny rolling. And um, so I was I was impressed with that. I agree with that. Yeah, we'll get to Old Faithful in just a minute. Of course, <laughs> another double-double from Desto. Yes. So, yeah, we, we're going to have to talk to her soon, I'm sure. But after the conversation we had after the scene Hall game, I would be remiss. We kind of touched on it. Free throws. Yeah. You guys have been practicing that, apparently. Yeah, we've been really emphasizing free throws. Um, when you think about it in the scene Hall loss, we step up and hit some free throws. That's a different game, you know. And that comes with our team chemistry that comes with us learning each other and learning that when you have an opportunity to put games away, you got to do it. Or opportunity to keep yourself in the game, you got to do it and make free throws. So in practice, I've been really emphasizing free throws. And now that we are out of school, you know, having our players come up and get more shots and really focusing on that end. And I was proud of them. They responded well from the free throw line. Um, yeah, and speaking of responding well, something I, I, I got to ask real quick before we move on to the other topic is, um, you know, you had that tough stretch, three tough opponents. We mentioned Seton Hall in the middle there, and then you gave uh, Tennessee a good run for a while, and then, you know, till that game ended the way that it did. What What's the feeling for you, for the locker room, now that you got the W and kind of stopped that skid there? Yeah, yeah, well, we, we were ready to play. <laughs> uh, when you think about it, too, even with uh, all three game Okay, we got Auburn, um, Seton Hall, and Tennessee. Those are three really, really good teams. I mean, Tennessee goes to Stanford, uh, Stanford, and almost beat them. I mean, you know, seventy to seventy-seven, right after our game at Stanford. And so, you know, I just think they're really good teams. And so, I learn. We learn from that. Our goal is to be ready for the conference. And so, we were ready to play ready to get those games behind us and focus on us, get healthy bodies. We look like a different team. If we had one of those players in that three game uh, stretch, I think we're a different team. So I'm happy to get uh, Nay back. I think Nay is one of the most aggressive players along with Destiny. <laughs> Destiny is a super beast 
and I love that part about him. Uh, on the on the rebounding end, and now having Nate to match that toughness is really good for our team. Uh, Ashley brings us some quickness off on ball screens, and she's learning our offensive scheme and defensive scheme. Uh, but you know we got some some really good options there, and I just think uh, we were excited and ready. Lip, my pregame speech was short. It was like let's go red, let's get ready to play. Because our kids were ready, and I'm, I was excited to see that. Yeah, like you mentioned, the short speech that's the prime indicator the team's about to, you know, hit, yeah. hit the hit the court with with a reckless, well, not reckless, but great abandon, we'll say, right? Yeah. So with with that in mind, I mean, the Charles Barkley comparison that you make, I know she wasn't on the floor for a lot of time, yeah. but Nay made her presence felt in the game. I, it, was it what you would hope to see for her first game back? Absolutely, it was what I hoped to see. And I think she put a little more pressure on herself than we did as a coaching staff. Uh, but she came out, she was aggressive. Uh, she got a great AM, AM1. Um, she's a vocal leader. And her energy, you know, Layla talked about that earlier, about our energy. It's just at a whole different level. Uh, and I think a lot of it is, you know, our players know, okay, we, we got help. We're ready now. We, we, we're getting healthier. Um, and so we're really excited about that from a coach's standpoint, too. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned you, the statement you made does it better. You see, you got the analysis and and you're making the statements that I can definitely match you on. The team looking completely different makes a lot of sense yeah. uh, uh, with that. Um, Nay doing her part to contribute to the free throw shooting as well. But um, I, I have to bring up Ashley because we talked about – I forget when exactly it was, but earlier in the season, some pieces you were looking to make. And I think it was after the exhibition with St. Leo, you had mentioned there were some other pieces that you're still kind of looking for. Ashley's part of that plan, I have to think, right? Yeah, absolutely. So Ashley has graduated. She graduated from Georgia State. So she only had one semester, and she's, she's done after this semester. Um, and I didn't want to bring anyone in that would mess up our chemistry. So, um, so. You know, we feel like Ashley fit us as far as athleticism, her coming off on ball screens. It had to be a special fit, and she's doing that. And so, um, you know, I, I am. I am always trying to figure it out and and get us to a high level of competition, which is our expectations. And we feel like Ashley has helped with that. And, of course, the game tomorrow against Elon, another opportunity for these. Uh, well, let me ask you. I don't want to make the statement. How big an opportunity is it for Nay? and Ashley to get their sea legs back and have the team in general continue to build? Uh, it, it's, it's really important. It's really important. And uh, we want to get them out there to try to get, get the chemistry going, they and Ashley. Um, and so that's a big game for us. And I feel like Elon is a game you can't overlook. I mean, they're very well coached. Charlotte Smith, their head coach, is a, a legend in women's basketball. She won a national championship with North Carolina, hit a three-point shot on a buzzer. She's dunked in, in, in the game and just, so she, she teaches her kids, her players, to, to kind of have her attitude. So you can't overlook them at all. And I think they'll be excited and ready to go. And what would you expect for them to bring on the court as far as their style of play? Um, you know, I think the main thing is for us, uh, they have three big weapons. They have three players that are averaging double figures. So uh, we're gonna have to slow them down from an offensive standpoint. Um, so, cause they have any, anybody who can go off on any night. Um, but we feel good um, about our bodies and being able to rotate different people in. We're hoping we can, um, a size advantage, we can go inside and establish that game first and then work our way out. And just as I promised, I gotta ask about Destiny. Her oh, yeah. stat line across the field, I mean, at this point, it feels obvious to mention the double-double in points and rebounds, but then yeah. at one point she was tied with Sierra in steals yeah. and, and then also has assists as well. From, Let me ask this first from your perspective, just from the sure your, your fun of it. You see your, your, your main, one of your main post players get the assist to your guard down low yeah. in the paint. How fun was that? That was so fun. <laughs> you probably see me on the sideline jumping or hot fist pumping. Uh, it was great. It was great. And, um, I mean, you looked at she had four steals and four assists and a double-double. Uh, Destiny is just, she's a she's a good, tremendous competitor, and I like that. And uh, I think it was really good 
um, her energy and what she brought. It, it was times when, you know, when she's in the game, she helps, um, you know, with the momentum and, and chemistry. And so I was super proud of her. And and I have to ask, and, and I kind of noticed it in the Seton Hall game, but I was a little distracted by that rebound number she had with the 24 rebounds That's and 24. tying the record. But um, she seems to have an extra element of agility and movement that wasn't there as much. I mentioned, you know, talking to uh, Sierra and, and Layla about the, the, the one steal she had from the backcourt. She looked like a defensive back she in football really picking that ball off. Like... It, it, are, are, are we watching the games late to the party because you see it in practice, or is this something that you she's kind of developed under you here? I think she's kind of developed it. Um, and and one thing that she has that we are as a staff are she has a knack for the game. You know, some people just automatically their their instincts are are, are crucial, and Destiny's that way. So um, her being able to pick off the passes and she tracked down rebounds. She's different from a lot of players in the whole country, the way she tracked down rebounds, okay? And she goes and get them. And that's just having a little, you know, knack for the game. And we, we were super excited about that. Um, and her ability to just read and get steals. I mean, four steals is key for her position. Great. That's uh, Thank you very much, Coach. We'll see you tomorrow uh, for the Elon game. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.